the shelf. It's very heavy and it's it's full of ideas and action. This is the hop of the guy guy handbag, eh? Gore, what you got next door? Say, but yeah, Grace, next door. I mean, your next door neighbor. What about all that? You know, you don't, you don't poop where you eat. I mean, it is. no way, but no. Here's the story. Here's the story. You've lived in that apartment complex for a while. You see something there, and you have kind of a nodding acquaintance at the mailbox, and she's got a dice. You're not, you know, something that you'd, you'd take out three or four times in the hope of skewering, but if it, if it presented itself, you know, on a rainy night, you wouldn't turn it down. You'd be a little reluctant to knock the bottom out of it. It's next door, and I think if you do put the moves on it, then she'd be all, you know, ringing your doorbell all the time. It'd be a hassle. So the time has come. Your lease is running out. You move into a new place. You finally bought that condo, and you're moving out. So you figure, what the hell? couple days before you're ready to move out what you do is strip totally naked take the key to your place hide it under your mat and then walk totally naked down to her place and ring the doorbell keys under your mat just in case this backfires but normally it works like a charm she opens the door. You stand there with your hands covering yourself and appear to be very frantic. You say, my God, I stepped out of the hallway to get my newspaper and the door slammed behind me. I couldn't believe it. I'm naked in the hallway. Please, can I come in for a second so I can call the superintendent to get the key to let me back in my place? Well, she'll find the whole idea pretty. At first, she'll be shy, but then she'll say, oh, my God. Then she'll let you in, of course. As you stand there, try to cover yourself. You say, you got a towel or something? My God, dear. she'll run and get you a dish towel. And you say, Jesus, this is terrible. Uh, where is she? She'll say, oh, the phone's right over here. You pick up the phone, you dial the weather. Making believe, of course, you're dialing the superintendent of the building. And say, yeah, hello, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is Fosdick. I'm a 301. I locked myself out. Could you sit? Well, I'm naked. I'd come down and get the key, but yeah, it's terrible. What? You'll get her as soon as you can. Okay, she's trying to hurry. Okay, I'm in the next door neighbor's place. Very embarrassing. I don't have any clothes on. I'm naked for the world. Thank you. You hang up. You say, geez, this is so... And she, by now, she's, of course, she realizes that you ain't some deviant. You just got locked out naked. And she's loving life, chuckling. <laughs> so, you yeah. say, okay, if I sit down... She'll say, sure. If she doesn't offer you a beer, say, can I borrow a beer? I'll give you one back. Have a couple of beers, wine, drink anything she's got. Aqua Velvet if it comes to that, you know. So you get to talking. You say, you know, this is really ridiculous. I've never been with a girl that I've just met and I'm talking to a naked or anything. I, I, I am so embarrassed. I hope you realize that. And then she'll go, every time, every few minutes, they say, I am so embarrassed. And she'll try to make you feel it. He said, no. Be a bad. I mean, it's an accident. These things happen. That's when you say, Oh, God, no, don't argue. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Now she's looking at that towel, cackling with laughter. And you make believe you're giving him a stern talking to. Shake your finger at that bad boy and go, Now, how dare you? We are guests of this lady's house. And for you to do that now on top of everything else, isn't it? That, of course, she'll be howling with laughter. Next thing you know, of course. She'll say it's a shame that that bad boy go to waste. You shed the towel. And stood bottom naked. You wait, you wait, you wait, you wait. It is such bliss. Yeah. And then, of course, you're moving in a couple of days. You know, for you have a couple of zesty sessions, you light a camel, uh, and she'll be saying, this is great, we live right next door. You say, yeah, really, not a really a long drive home. We have a couple of pops at the end of the night, we'll be safe. Yeah, we can say, yeah, this is great, I'm looking forward to it. And I just think when we go places on the weekend, we have a, yeah, right, we can plan those picnics on Saturday morning, I'll see how you do it, or we can just stay at your place or my place. We can, <laughs> who knows, maybe one day we'll just uh, get rid of one of the places. No sense having two places if we're going to be, uh, uh, uh. of course, the next day there you are on your U-Haul trailer.